How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me again on tea. I'm going to taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew. Come here, boy. Mm. You know that looks good? This is going to be good. I'll drown on tea. Talk to it like it knows what I'm talking about. I like it. It's good. I believe in easy cooking. Believe me, I do. Hi, y'all are. I'm glad for you to see me. Who said that? <laughs> I'm glad for you to see me. I guarantee you it's funny. Nothing in there. Hmm. That's good. I'm going to stew some corn and green onion for you all today and make some hominy, lye hominy and chili. When I was a kid, my mother used to, used to make the lye hominy with lye, you know. But I never did like to, to watch it, so I, I've forgotten how to do it. But I bet I could if I had to. I don't, uh, I don't want to do it if I didn't help it. But this says right in here, a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I might just as well get started on this right now. That's olive oil. It says one-fourth cup. Now, I'm pretty good at pouring one-fourth cup, one cup at a time. You watch. Now, that ain't a fourth per cup, no. That's not either. Fast getting there. Ooh, I heard all that. That's just about a fourth of a cup of olive oil, and I'm going to put all this stuff in it. I got to, got to do it, you know. Got to have it. Put this olive oil right back. I may need some more if it doesn't come out right, you know. Now, into this, I got to put four cups of chopped green onion. That's four good cups right there. So I'm going to turn the fire on. I like to have it. Have, a, have it sealed on me. See if I get the right one. No, never do. <laughs> Got that one. We're going to put that on a medium heat. That's my tasting spoon. It's warm already, I tell you that. But it'll warm up real fast. Come on in there. My hands are clean. You're going to cook in there. Gotcha. Take this spoon and stir that in there real good. Mm. Mm. You know I can smell that smelling good already? You know I don't smell that? <laughs> that full cup of green onion. Now I'm gonna put Eight cup of sweet corn, cut off the cob. Man, I'll tell you, you, isn't that pretty? It is pretty. I'm gonna put this in here right now so we can get it to cooking. Oh, you thought I was gonna drop that? I did too. <laughs> I'm gonna get all that out of there. Come out of there. Come out of there. Got it. And stir that in. Any time you cook, any occasion will tell you this. When you're cooking, every time you add anything, you got to stir. Eight cup of corn, green, fresh corn off the cob. Got to be good. Got to be good. Whew. All right. Now into that, I got to add something else here. One cup. Of Good dry white wine that you'd love to drink if I'd let you, but I'm not. I'm going to put it in you. It's a Chablis. That's a full cup. I can hear that cooking. Go ahead on there, baby. Stir. That wine takes all, you know, people ask me, say, why do you always cook with wine? Well, sometimes I cook with beer. If I boil shrimp, I put beer in there. But uh, the reason I cook with wine, I know it'll take the bitterness out of anything. You know, now, green onion's got a certain bitterness to it. If you cook it with celery, celery's got bitterness. Parsley's got a little bitterness. Any, any other kind of onion got, got bitterness, too, got the bitterness. So you got, you got to take it out, and wine takes it out and enhances the flavor. 
There's two things at the same time. What are you going to do? But you can't miss that. Then I'm going to put a cup of spicy onion. That is a rotel. I'm going to put a cup of water after I put the rotel in there and stir it in. That's rotel. Stir it, man. Just stir it, you stand. That's what you got to do. And hold that thing so it won't splash anymore out there on the stove and have to pick it back up. It ain't good, no. That shows that I'm not a chef. I'm just a cook, that's all. And in the country, you can splash things on the stove. That's all right. I'm a country cook, and I love to cook. And now I'm going to put a cup of water. Oh, I'm going to take a sip of that water, too. Got a frog in my throat. <laughs> I wish I'd had it in there when I had that wine in my head, I'll tell you. <laughs> Cup of water and stir. I got him then, that frog in my throat. Get the cooking there, baby. You're looking pretty. That's a pretty dish. And it's pretty enough to eat. Now, into that, I got to put some good chopped garlic. Two, two, I'm talking about two teaspoons full of chopped minced garlic. Got to get all of it there, baby. I don't want to leave any of that in there. I love garlic. Garlic is good for you if that people are just, just finding that out. I've been knowing that all my life. Stir it in there good. Spread it around. Oh, boy. Let's get with it. Yeah. That's smelling good. Can y'all smell that? <laughs> when I was doing a stage show once in a big city, I was cooking on there. I got a, a when I started to cook, just as I started, I'd fry some bacon and put a fan by and let that blow out in the order. <laughs> And it worked, it helped. Let me get this moved up a little bit out of my way. I'm gonna put this over here so I can have room to do something else I got to do shortly. Here we go, you stand, put them right there. That'll work. And put this over there to help it. Stay there, all right? Now, I got to salt this. It says salt the taste. My taste. And we're going to put about, let's see, uh, I got a bunch of stuff in there. Eight cup of sweet corn cut off the cob, four cup of green oil. Uh, I got to put about, uh, well, that's a teaspoon. You all don't believe it? I'm going to show you. That's a teaspoon full of salt. That's one teaspoon right there. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? <laughs> And stir, I'm gonna put some more salt. There's not enough salt. It's gonna take two teaspoons to do to do this right. Let's put another teaspoon. Another well, well just a little bit over. We'll let that's a heaping teaspoon. That's a heaping teaspoon. Not in heap too much, so no. Put that salt back right there where I may need it later. And I got to stir this. It says stir the ingredients in a big large pot and cook over a medium fire for about 45 minutes. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Mm -hmm. Now I've got to cut that fire down to make it more medium than it is right now because that's hot. That fire is hot. Come on back down here now. Now that's a nice medium flame. Put the lid on it like this. Stirred it, moved this uh, recipe. I got to use my recipe because who's going to remember all the recipes I dream of? No, I ain't. <laughs> I don't try. Now, I'm going to put this out of the way. Right now, I'm going to make you a nice, nice hominy and chili casserole. <laughs> it is, I guarantee it's going to be good. 
put this there right there, and I got to put olive oil on the bottom of that thing. It says, uh, it's got this all mixed up. It says, tablespoonful of olive oil. That's all I need. <laughs> A tablespoonful of olive oil. There you go, baby. That ain't quite a tablespoonful, believe it or not, it's not. But that's a tablespoonful. Not heaping, just a tablespoonful. And then we're gonna turn the fire on there and kind of move that around a little bit. If I can did that, I'll be just right. Now see if I get the right one this time. Yes, I did. <laughs> I put that on a, a medium low fire, run it around where it gets all over the bottom of that skillet, frying pan, whatever you want to call it, pot, pan, there's something to put this in. Got it. Now, this recipe say one sixteen ounce of hominy. Drain it. You got to drain all the water off of it there. We got that. But it don't go in there first, no. What we're going to do right now is put the green onion in there and let them kind of sizzle around a little bit. Get in there. Green onion. Got it all the first time. That ain't bad. And I got some bell pepper. I got to put in there to help them green onion out. You know how that is. Put some bell pepper on that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Got all that too. I'm getting good at that, you know it. Put that to the side so I can get to that little bit of that garlic powder. I'm gonna let that, I have to stir that around a little bit so it'll get to cooking. And it'll cook, I mean. I never ever got that down in, in Crowley where I used to live, Crowley, Louisiana, in Southwest Louisiana. There's a fella had a, a kind of a butcher and a fish market there. And it, he put a fellow to work for him, and he was good. He worked hard. He really did. And uh, after he'd been there about a month and proved he could work, the man that hired him said, I want to tell you something, boy. It's all right with me, but you either got to get you a longer apron in the front or stop stealing such long fish, steal shorter fish, you hear me? <laughs> Green onion. Got, this is dry parsley. Dry parsley is good. I want that to kind of get a little more juice in it before I put that in there. It's doing all right. It's getting juice. This is a cup. Actually, it's a, oh, I'd say this is a half a cup of dried parsley. Now, that's equivalent to a cup and a half. Now, I think that's a half a cup. So I'm gonna quit putting that dry parsley in there. And I got some, some dried mint I'm gonna put in, but let me stir that dried parsley down into this thing that we got here. Mm-hmm. Smell that? I smell it. Make all the noise you want to go in to do it. Now into that, I'm gonna put some dried mint, and then I'm gonna put a, about a half a teaspoon full of garlic powder. Now this is what you call easy cooking. You can do all this without having to cut up some of the stuff. When you chop parsley, you're in good shape. I can tell you that, but most people don't know how to chop parsley. And I don't throw the stems away, I use the whole damn thing. Never get it all there. You say, you ought not to beat those beautiful pots. I say, I got to get that stuff off the spoon. Now, into this, I'm going to put uh, some rooster sauce, or Worcestershire right here. That's what this is, Worcestershire sauce. Put it in there. And I also, too, I got to put some uh, good wine in just a few minutes. And I get this wet, mm, I can smell that real good. Ooh -wee. Get it all off that spoon. Now, I'm gonna put 
a cup of nice dry wine. I didn't see that wine. I had a sip of that instead of that water. I guarantee. <laughs> and that's a cup of dry white wine. Stirred it around in there real good. And I got a 16 ounce can of hominy that's been drained real good. I have to put that in there in a few minutes. I want this to come to a boil first. Let's boil, baby. I'll turn you up a little bit to be sure. Now, I can hear it picking up. I'll tell you that for true. Now, we're going to put the this nice dry harmony in there, like this. Get out of that. Cut it all. Got every bit of it. Didn't get all that wood to the sauce, but got it now. And I stir this into that. And good. That began to look pretty, believe it or not. I love hominy. Hominy and chili are two good things that go together, and I'm putting these together right now in just a few minutes. And I got salt and pepper to taste. It says, here's the pepper. Cayenne pepper is what I use. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> that's plenty. We don't need any more of that. Now, that's not much. That's about a quarter of a teaspoon for what that is. Now, into this. Let me see what I can put into this. Wine, garlic powder. Got it all in there. And wine in a medium-sized pot and cook over medium fire, stir it until the onion and peppers are tender. You see, now I got to put some salt in this too. And I know about how much goes in there, about a, a two teaspoons, not quite two teaspoons. And this is a slow teaspoon, it ain't a full teaspoon. And neither is this one. That's enough salt in there. Put that over there and stir. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do, we did. I got to cook that a little while to get better, but it's nearly ready right now. Put this underneath here, over here where I can see it in case I need to look again. You know how it is. I'm not all that smart. So most of that juice is gone, see? Then I'm going to stir in some chili and pour it into a casserole right over there. And I better put a little olive oil in that casserole or somebody will give me the devil for not thinking about that. Because you got to grease that to keep it from sticking to the bottom. It'll do it if you don't look hard. That's less than a tablespoon full. I got to put this garlic pot in there. I nearly forgot you use such a small bit and nothing in the world but about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Who ever heard of using a half a teaspoon full of garlic powder? Let's get out of there. Now you're going. I'm going to get you out of there if I have to scrape the bottom of this thing. Now I got it. That looks about like a half a teaspoon I got in there. Yep. It is. You better be. Now we're going good. Now, now into this. I ain't true putting stuff in there. I'm going to put some, stir some chili. See that chili? Cooked chili. I'm going to put some chili in there and stir it in there real good. And I'm going to put that in that uh, butamous uh, casserole dish. Now let's go in here and just stir it in good, boy. Oh, man. That's... Y'all smell that? I do. Ooh, wee. That's a 16 ounce can of uh, chili I'm putting in there. Look out there, that's hot. Stir it in real good. All right, now let's get in there pretty and good like you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Ah. I got to move this out of my way. Move this over there and kind of stir this olive oil around in there just a little bit to be sure it covers everything and it's doing it. 
Oh, yeah. Now, into this, I'm going to pour this. And I'm going to cut this far. No, I can't cut this. But yeah, I can't uncut that far off in just a minute or two. When you get all that stuff over the side. And I got it. Cut the fire off. And I'm going to pour this in there. Okay. Go ahead and splash on everything. It's all right. Mmm. Make it noise, but it's a pretty noise to me, I'll tell you. Now, now what I got to do is put some cheddar cheese grated in there. And I'm trying to see what this is. I've got to see what in the world this is. Oh, that's cheese too. I put it all in there. This is cheese too. Three kinds of cheese, mozzarella, parmesan, and American cheddar. All of it grated into a shredded or something. Put it in, stir it around, and let's put it right there, Judson. Let's put that parmesan in there first. Here we go. Stir you in there, pretty girls and boys. Look at that. <laughs> this is a mozzarella. Mozzarella, la, 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 There we go. Now into this, I'm gonna put that good old American cheddar. I'm gonna have to put that in with my hand to be sure I spread it good. Now you going, boy. Mm-hmm. Put that down there. Put this over here like that. Mix it up. But I got one more thing I think I got to put in there. Yep. Breadcrumb, ain't that something? And then I'll put it in the oven. Or I may wait and let that kind of soak up a little bit. Looking good, looking just right. Breadcrumb, I'll put them on there any way I want to. I'd, if I were an artist, I'd paint a picture. But I'm not in the artist. So I'm gonna just spread it on there real good. That's what it takes an artist to do that, too, I guarantee you. <laughs> oh, get on there. I'm going to have to put this in a 300 and, I think it's a 325 or 350 degree oven. And I'll look and see how long it's supposed to cook. And I'm going to sit down there and eat some of it. I got fixed for myself already. Hmm. I got to cook that in 350 degrees, what the man said. Now, got it set at 350. Put your side right there. Bring this over here and put it in that oven and let it brown the old bread from at 350 degrees. That's, ooh, wee, that smells good. Ay, ay, ay. Got to push your side, don't mean to hurt you. Got to open the oven, all right? 350 degrees hominy and chili baked in a 350 degree oven. Now, if that's not all right, now, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to sit down over here, and if y'all don't mind, whether you mind or not, I'm going to sit down over here and, and taste some of this to be sure that it, that it tastes right. It would be a hell of a fix if it didn't. I'll tell you that. Come here, champ. Up close. Closer. All right. Put this out of my way where I can see everybody. Ay, yay, yay. Hmm? Oh, boy. Like a little gentleman, put my napkin so I won't spill things on the floor. That is warm. Yes, sir. That's that chili and hominy. And that's the green, the nice corn. Got it off the cob. And I'm gonna use my spoon and my fork to eat this. But before I do, I'm gonna pour myself just a swiller of wine. That's a half swallow. <laughs> that's a swiller. That's another swiller that makes a swallow. <laughs> and this tastes so good. Let me see how it tastes. That's the chili and, and hominy. Let me see, all right. Mmm, 
Mm-hmm. 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 Oh boy, let me see. It is come with it. Oh man, that is fine. I can taste everything in the corn, the rotel, the green onion. Now for a sip of wine. That's all it needed was just a half a swallow. <laughs>